Hi, I'm Matt Bracken from Pedro's. I'm here today to teach you about the new Pedro's chain pig and how it decreases chains really easily. So we're gonna take you through that. But before we do, he's composed of just a few simple pieces. You've got his little stainless steel hook and depending on the type of derailleur, you can run the hook above or below, take them off and change them. And his little eyes to open them up, you squeeze them. And you can see the compartments, the wheels and brushes. This is a sponge that wipes the chain. This is the reservoir, so it's simple. This will be on the top of the chain, the bottom. They come together. And we're gonna pour our new Pedro's Pig Juice degreaser down to this reservoir. And you can see it's got a little fill line. So we're gonna fill just about an ounce, an ounce and a half of fluid, which is much less than other degreasers in the currently in the market. So we're gonna do more with less. It's pretty cool. First, I'll take his tail. I'll fit it on top of the jockey wheel in the rear wheel or the lower wheel. Then his body, it comes in and you can see it rests. And if you're in a good gear, you'll be able to turn backwards and the chain will turn freely. If not, adjust the gear you're in so that the pig will sit square and level and perpendicular to the chain parallel to the ground. So this is the new Pedro's Pig Juice. This is a prototype version. The final version will be in stores in about six, eight weeks. This is slightly off color, but the way it works, and you don't use very much, see it's low viscosity. It's a solvent-free, VOC-free, biodegradable degreaser, which is new for Pedro's. And it actually is, it works incredibly well compared to the products we've made for 24 years. So right here, I'm gonna fill in this reservoir. You can see it's just up to the fill line. And now I'm going to slowly turn backwards. And then I'm going to get a little more crazy. So now you can see how it's frothing the chain. I just squeeze his eyes. I don't take the whole pig off, just the lower. And now watch the dirt that came out off this chain. You can see it. Many people will often say, you know, are you worried that based on the type of lubricant that you're putting something bad into the earth? What I tell people is if you lubed your chain properly, what's happening is the dirt that's mostly coming out of my hand is dirt. It's been attracted to the light oil or other things, your wax lubes that's been sitting on the chain. So most of what's coming off is actually the combination of the degreaser, which is biodegradable plus the dirt. People again, often worry about biodegradability of the oils that are on the chains. But at this point, with how dirty this chain was, it's mostly dirt. So now that I've squeezed it and you can see it, I'll put that great little foam wiper back in. I'll connect them back on. Make sure he's in place. And then I'll take my hose. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to the reservoir. So now I'm gonna rinse the chain. And I'll run it backwards again. You can see how clean the chain has come. And then again, we'll see because of the water that we've run through, all the extra stuff that's now coming out of the chain. You can run it through once with water. It's up to you. Some of us, you know, you can, you can go twice. I'm gonna run a little more water. Normally you can take a water bottle and just put it in more gently and clean it than I'm doing. I'm making a mess, but it's okay. What we'll do also, what I would normally do is take pig juice and also this brush. Pedro's toothbrush. And what's nice is this is only a, a 11 by one. I hear my daughter crying. I'm like a scrub, scrub the cogs. I'm gonna do Tom's chain ring as well. This new degreaser is also safe on all surfaces. It's not gonna hurt your anodized parts or your coverings or clear coats. Let it sit. Now we'll just give it a good rinse. Again, not high pressure, just a shower. Let me turn that pressure down too. Take a good 
good look at your chain now. Again, it's very clean, and if you run your fingers over it, it's wet, there's no more oil. So what you want to do now is run it backwards, use centrifugal force to spin the water out. If you have compressed air, great. If you're normal like most people, spin it. And we're lucky, today's nice and sunny. I would let it dry for five or 10 minutes and then immediately re-lubricate the chain, protect it, and you're good to go. The end.